hey guys welcome back so guys we are continuing a laravel 9 e-commerce series and now guys in this video we'll be learning about the uh, event listener in livewire so guys where we are going to implement this event listener on the add to cart so when we click here add to cart that time what happens it should increment okay so the cart should increment it to one to how many ever it's added okay so let me just log in and show you guys i have logged in successfully guys and now let us get back to this add to cart button okay let's move back to let me close everything and we'll be clear and let's move to routes web.php and just check for the slug collection category and your product slug okay so collection collection category and the product slug which goes to front-end controller at the class view product so let's move to this front-end controller guys at the view product function so the view product function name okay just search for that control F and you'll get that let's move to the blade all set so here we see that live component is called let's go to this blade guys first and we have that add to cart button so let me move below here is a add to cart button and on this click we are going to our live wire component controller okay so where is that actually you can just follow up with the same path like go to live wire folder then front end product and view so let's move to app http then live wire front end product view.php perfect so here is our add to cart function whatever we are viewing here in the add to cart live wire blade file that function is called over here and whenever you add the data you need to send an event okay so you can use a emit so while adding the product color we are creating the record here is a create record now you need to emit event dollar this of emit function cart added or updated okay let's keep anything so it should be related to your cart thing okay so let's copy this okay and let's go out here we are counting the product colors close this if condition and again move to this else part over here inside this else part we are adding the product okay into your cart so after this also we need to send it emit this event okay and now guys to listen to this event you need to create one live wire component so let's create that let's open a terminal php artisan make colon live wire front end folder forward slash again cart folder and then we tell cart count hit enter so you see that component created let's go and just check it out let's move to app live wire front end cart we have a cart and here is a cart count.php now guys let's move inside that and let me close this terminal so now guys let's implement the cart count functionality here so first step let's create a public variable that is cart count so dollar cart count and now just create one function with the name check cart count done and we don't need any type or request from there and now just check if it is authenticated auth colon colon check function if it's authenticated then you are going to store the data like let me return it return dollar this of the variable cart count equals to your cart model you are going to check in that cart table do you have any data or not and just check for the count like you are checking for number of rows 
on what condition of the user id okay so user underscore id that is authenticated user id all set guys and in the else part like when it's not auth i mean when the user is not authenticated that time you are going to store as zero by default it should be zero as simple guys and now when you emit an event like when you just send an event when you're doing this you have to listen for this okay so let's copy this event name card add or update and use a global variable that is listener so protected dollar listener is equal to inside array format and here you send that variable okay whatever you are sending emitting the variable at that time what it should call it should call for your function so this is the check card count function you have to call it as simple guys and now guys let's send this data inside the blade dollar this of card count let me remove the dollar is equal to so when the page loads at that time only we need to check this function let's copy this dollar this of the function name it will load and you have to send this data directly so just use comma and array and send the variable dollar this of cart count inside your cart count let's copy this and just paste the same name all set guys done and now you can get back to the live wire blade here and paste that let's use double curly brace and dollar card count variable let's use the class display inline for responsiveness guys let's get back and you should paste this variable okay so make sure you are not pasting other variable done guys so whenever we are adding to cart we emit this and it will call this component and now to load where i mean on this page on this navbar it should paste right so for that guys you need to get back to your navbar blade.php let me align it go to resource views layouts and inside inc front end we have a navbar blade.php let me minimize the sidebar so guys you see by static we have given cart is zero which is shown here and now let's implement that live wire component just open and close tag and here you add your live wire colon then front end let me show you the path where is it okay cart count i just need to copy this all set copy this and paste in your navbar blade so here you paste done so now guys you get back to your page refresh so we have some already added products in our cart so it should load some data okay we are facing an error that auth is not found okay we need to import that where it is in cart count.php let's go to cart count.php we need to import this class guys auth and the cart so let's import it import class here is a class for auth and for your cart model also cool so cart also imported and just check out if you are including anything please import that and now guys let's refresh again and you see that cool so three items are added in the cart let me add again here product added to cart and it's four cool let me add again add to cart here you see product already added to cart done so guys we see that we have successfully completed with our cart counter option and fetching all the cart items which we have added okay so guys thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share